The Executive Director of Innovative Solution to Community Development Initiative, ISD, an NGO, Mr. Yahaya Yakubu, has advised women groups to develop the culture of savings to fast-track development in the country. Yakubu, who was represented by the NGO's Grants and Compliance Manager, Mr. Jonah Agbaji, gave the advice during the annual share-out program for Godia Village Savings and Loans Association, VSLA, facilitated by the NGO. I want to sincerely congratulate this batch of VSLA group who had been able to utilize the little resources given to them. We have several groups in different communities. But this group have been able to put it to us or convince us beyond doubt that though the money given to them is little, but that they can make out something out of these little funds. And putting their heads together to manage it over a year to the extent that they are having a savings for sharing out today. I want to congratulate you. Thank you very much for your effort. And I strongly believe that other groups should learn a lesson from what you have just done. Thank you very much. Similarly, Mr. Abdul Rashid Shaidu, Senior Program Officer of ISD, while enumerating the processes of the share-out, said that the NGO was created to provide empowerment for women and youth groups to make themselves reliant. We have about five groups, different groups. This is the Godia group from Angwakastinawa in Maraba, Luka, uh, Karoluka government of Nasarawa state. Maraba. Yes, Maraba Nguruku. <laughs> So they are, today is, they are doing their share out, they have been serving since uh, this COP year and the circle of their saving has come to an end and they are doing their share out today. The, what they did is to enable them to uh, have, the caregivers should have access to emergency fund when there is an emergency need. When there is a need within the household like such as a school fee, uh, payment of uh, medical bills, how uh, food security and the rest. For her part, the finance and administration manager of the NGO, Princess Ayomide Akinwale, made a donation of additional 100,000 naira to the group. She advised the women to be independent and resourceful and to concentrate more on good investments rather than frivolities. Anywhere I see women winning, I'm always very happy. You understand? Because I used to say something, gone are those days that women are liabilities to their husbands. Now we are no longer liabilities, we are now assets in our homes. We are assets of our husbands, we are ass assets of our children. You understand, like what your um, village agent said earlier, that you don't need to wait for your husband before you can make financial decision. You should be able to assist him in the home. That is why, um, I'm a Christian, the Bible calls the woman, help, help me. We are helpers to our husbands. We are not there so that we can wreck them. You understand? We are there so that we can uplift them, so that they can be better in the society. Yes. And please don't forget why you are a woman. You are, not a, you are not just a woman. You have power within you. You understand? You have the ability to make money. So please yes. make that money. And as you're making money, save your money, just like you have done today. Continue to save your money. Invest your money in good businesses. And don't spend your money on parties and things, other things like that. Do you understand? Don't do unnecessary or unhealthy competition with anybody. In his remark, the Director of Social Service, Karu Local Government Council, Mr. Mustafa Issa, commended the women for their effort to make life better for themselves. If other women and youths will be like them, I don't think we will be relying on government for everything. This is what we call self-reliance. In her remarks, on behalf of the association, Queen Kennedy, a member of Godia VSLA group and community agent, prayed for the growth of the group while appreciating the NGO and its partners for their continuous support. Thank God for this honorable share out and we thank God for where he took us from and where he's taking us to because we see our future getting brighter and brighter. And we want to ask God that he will give us the grace to continue in strength, in grace, in good health, we pray that you continue to guide us. We thank you very much for being our support. We thank ISD also for bringing this initiative, for also supporting us in many ways. So far, they've su supported us two times. We have a lot for the women to roll around. They can, for those that are not doing anything, they can start up something. For those that are already do so, doing something, they can push their business to a bigger heights. 